Much has changed in the valley, and much remains the same. The farmer tills his fields today as his ancestors did in ages past. A heritage endures. The people of the valley come and go. Life in village and city goes on. As generations have come and gone, the mountain streams have flowed on. The friendly earth still yields its produce. And cradling the valley now as always, silent lofty mountains keep their eternal vigil. Every piece of coal in China is intended to go through one of the national coal factories. This is a private coal mine that was shut down by the authorities. Private mining is illegal, but since there's such a crazy demand for coal, a lot of people try to start their own mine in order to profit from the lucrative black market. Most of them are not successful and get fined or put in jail. Uh the enormous government factories are easy to spot. We drove by a lot of them, but never hung out for very long because we didn't want the security guards to see us. To get a better sense of the illegal coal industry, we went into the hills about two hours outside of Linfen. The area was still dense with pollution, and we started to see smaller factories and then what appeared to be some illegal mines. Since they're not regulated by the government and are operated using old methods, the illegal mines are a big part of the pollution problem. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音
After spending a week in Linfen, my eyes burned a little, my throat itched, and when I picked my nose, my boogers had turned black. Lesu 以可持续发展这个理念指导下呢，呃，中国这个发展啊，它是以是逐渐会走上这个持续健康，呃，就是人与自然协调，呃，协和谐发展的这么一条道路。After almost a week in Linfen, the police came to our hotel. They didn't come to our rooms, but they had the hotel staff bring us what our translator said were registration forms. We were afraid that our tapes might get confiscated, because after all, we were filming illegally. We were basically there as tourists who happened to have professional video cameras. We got a last glimpse of the factories and empty rivers. It was as good a time as any to leave. We are faced with a very short time window to make the right choices about our future. So it's not a question about whether or not China should develop. China has to develop in order to lift more people out of poverty. However, it's more about how China should develop. The local level officials are still very much obsessed with just economic uh, growth. Really, the evaluation of uh, officials' uh, performance have to change in big way in order to give more incentive for those people on the local level to do more for yeah. the environment. When the World Bank first named Linfen the most polluted city on Earth, the Chinese government set about to improve the situation, closing down factories, rerouting truck traffic, and there were even some signs around the city calling attention to the problem. trucks, we were surrounded by them for another 20 hours as we drove back to Beijing. And we sat in our van at one toll booth for about six hours in the middle of the night. All of the fumes helped me sleep through most of it as coal trucks idled around us and the car in front of us ran out of gas. Growing up, my impression of China was of a huge boulevard entirely full of bicycles. They've obviously been replaced by cars and trucks, and if you add the burning of coal to that, as well as all of the manufacturing that goes on, China is now the world's leading polluter. I think that China is trying its best to try to um, host a good Olympic game um, and uh, try to um, give a good impression on, on for the whole rest of the world. 
measures try to clean up air for the Beijing Olympics, if you look at them, um, a lot of them are very short term. Mm -hmm. um, it's about shutting down factories and it's about um, um, having uh, strict um, uh, transport uh, restrictions. It would actually be um, much more um, smart if we try to think of uh, long-term uh, structural solutions. As a Beijing citizen, if I would have um, clean air for those two weeks in, in, in Beijing, and then afterwards I would think, um, why can't I have that every day? These, uh, these are all things that can lead to much long-term thinking um, after the Olympics. A lot of people say China is going through its own industrial revolution, but I think that China's problem is kind of a global problem. One of the biggest winners from China's economic rise are the American and other multinational companies who use cheap labor and materials to produce goods that are sent all over the world. As big a mess as China has to clean up, the United States is still the largest per capita polluter in the world. China's claims that the blue skies have opened over Linfen is obviously false, especially when you watch the sunset end about 20 minutes early when the sun sets behind an artificial curtain of smog. However, once the sun goes down, the stars do come out to shine in Linfen.